Welcome to another Detective Squirrel Investigates video. In this issue, in this video, we will be looking at issue one of the Unsolved magazines, Death in Jeddah, Helen Smith. I would just like to actually um, also give a disclaimer that um, a warning, uh, a trigger warning for pizza, certain people, there, there is mention of uh, sexual violence, rape and abuse in this video. The night of Saturday the 19th of May 1979, 23-year-old English nurse Helen Smith attended an illegal drinks party near the Baksh Hospital, Jeddah, set in Saudi Arabia, where she worked. The party was held by Dr Richard Arnott and his wife Penny in the sixth, their sixth floor apartment. Sometime in the early hours of the Sunday the 20th, Helen and a, at that time, unnamed Dutchman had apparently fallen the 70 feet from the apartment to her death. The Dutchman's body was impaled on the spiked fence while Helen's body lay on the ground. An autopsy was carried out by a local mortician, Mohammed Kaia. He concluded that it had been an accident. An accident. <laughs> Dr. Arnott, his wife and other party goers, received various punishments for the illegal party and the illegal partaking of alcohol including prison sentences and public floggings. Helen's father, Ron, an ex-policeman, was called by Helen's younger sister, Beverly, informing him of Helen's death. Ron made his way to Jeddah, only for the British Embassy and the Foreign Office, to continue to insist that it was, in fact, an accident. An accident! It took some time, but Ron eventually took Helen's body home to Britain. He arranged for a private autopsy to be carried out by a pathologist from Leeds called Michael Green. According to Green's report, based on Helen's injuries, she had been the victim of a sexual abuse, perhaps rape, before suffering a fatal beating, certainly no signs of a fall. Soon after, two Dutch journalists identified the Dutchman as Johannes Otten. This led to Ron Smith to a meeting with Johannes' parents and his girlfriend in Holland. In 1981, more than a year after Helen's death, Michael Green's superior, Philip Gill, coroner for Leeds, insisted that, sing that since Helen had died abroad, no further investigation was required and so refused an inquest, despite the fact that he himself had led inquests into the deaths of other British citizens that died abroad. So that's as far as the magazine reports, uh, which is odd considering the magazine was published in 1984. The uh, there was an inquest eventually held in 1982. Ron Smith, Helen's father, had decided to bring in yet another pathologist, a Danish professor, Jorgen Delgard. Delgard's report supported the findings of Michael Green's, and so a 15-day inquest was held in at the end of 1982, but an open verdict was returned. On the 9th of November 2009, 30 years after her death, Helen was cremated. On the Saturday the 15th of April 2011, less than two years later, 83-year-old Ron Smith f uh, died from the complications of kidney failure. So despite the evidence showing that Helen was raped and murdered, the only official verdict insisted that it was an accident and her and Johannes had fallen. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and this return to uh, 
detective squirrel and investigate videos um, if you did enjoy it like share subscribe and uh, for now this is detective squirrel out